Oh, I got myself into some big fucking trouble with this video, or I'm about to get myself in some big fucking trouble with this video. I'm an educated fool with money on my mind, got my tan in my hand and a gleam in my eye. It's a topic that people really don't want to talk about in Bosnia and in other countries in the region. Let's just say ex yugoslav countries. It's a topic that I avoided for a long, long time, but then I realized, hmm, maybe I can bring this in a in a civilized, nice way in order not to butt hurt any of the countries which I probably will or nationalities. Uh, if I do, I'm sorry, it's not my intention. If you feel offended, well, um, go to a different channel, I don't give a fuck. Religion played a huge role throughout the history in the ex-Yugoslavia or in the, in the region of ex-Yugoslavia. Let's just say the Balkans for this case. Throughout history, a lot of different influences like Ottomans and uh, Prussians and other kinds of folk fought each other uh, because uh, they didn't like each other's religion. Ah, <sighs> the irony in this religion. In every way, in every religion, you're taught about peace and respecting other people and blah 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 blah. Yet somehow, in throughout like history in general, not only in the Balkans and ex-Yugoslav countries, um, religion is mostly the cause of uh, a war or a conflict. That's exactly the reason why I don't want to get into religion, to say so. Um, I'm not really a religious person myself. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I am, what I do believe in. I'm just gonna say that I'm just not really the religious type because I think it's really really wrong especially uh, considering where I'm from like the region of well, Bosnia and ex-Yugoslavia um, where we had such a nice atmosphere and a good life in general for most of the people. Yugoslavia is probably the most prosperous of the communist nation and two and a half billion dollars from the United States did much to prime the pump. Yes, I'm moral radicals the Donalds. Driving around in a Cadillac, drinking expensive American whiskey, and gaining unprecedented popularity worldwide. Where people just stirred up like old, old historical fights, uh, mostly based on religion. And we got into a big fucking civil war where everybody was killing each other because they were a different religion and not so much a different nationality, but more because of the religious stuff. You can disagree on that one, but there is one fact why I'm telling you that. No other place in the world is ethnicity linked to your nationality in the way of a, a passport. If you are uh, ethnically a uh, an African, your parents are Afro-American, you're born in America, you get a American password. Is it correct? Yes. In Bosnia, it doesn't function that way. If you get born in Bosnia as a Croatian with ethnical Croatian parents, you have the right to get a Croatian passport while living and voting in the country of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, that just doesn't make any sense, does it? It does work in some countries like Switzerland where people are just normal and uh, have a high level of education. In a region like ex-Yugoslavia, there is uh, a lot of people who are not well educated uh, people who are really easily influenced by uh, religion or people who pretend to be a presenter of their religion and then just indoctrinate you with all kinds of bullshit that's not true. It just, it just doesn't work in that region. I'm just gonna tell you some experiences of myself. So let's just put the facts out there how, how, the situation how the situation currently is. So if you're a Serb, they consider you Orthodox Christian. If you're a Croatian, they uh, consider you Catholic Christian. And if you're a Bosnian, they consider you a Muslim. That's how people think over there. Like it, it may not be written as rules or something, but that's how people just communicate, that's how people think, that's how people act. And it's just funny how this younger generation, and even the older generation, is just referring to their religion only based of war. Oh yeah, the Muslims killed all those Serbs, all the Serbs killed those Muslims and that's why we cannot marry each other. Oh, that's not how, why you cannot date that dude. Even though those people are uh, only like as kids born in a religious family but were not raised as an example. I'm born in a religious family but I wasn't raised religiously, I was just Basically, my parents just said, said, just do whatever the fuck you want, what makes you happy, and uh, uh, they're good and bad people everywhere in the world, and just, 
just do your thing, you know? We're not gonna force you to do anything, just do your thing. That's exactly the reason I turned up so fucked up. Just kidding. But um, it's kind of weird because, uh, let's say 90%, 80%, I think around 80%, that's, that will be a correct number to describe the situation is that um, that even though a newer generation who has nothing to do with anything in history or war or even with religion are born in a religious family raised with basic religious things like rules or something and taught about the religion but never forced to go to a mosque never uh, or to a church never did prayers um, never did the fasting periods never did all the things that come with religion, all the religious activities, let's just call it like that, uh, cannot date or talk to other people from another religion, even though you're not religious. But you call yourself religious, you call yourself a proud uh, Muslim, you call yourself a proud, proud Serbian uh, Orthodox Christian, but you never actually practice your religion. It's just like, yeah, it's there, and I just can brag about it, use it as an excuse. Is really weird and that's the reason why I never actually uh, got into re into religious practices or something like that I know everything I know well everything I know the basic stuff uh, I've learned about every religion because uh, I got it in school you had to learn about every religion which I thought was really interesting because it makes me understand the other person and why they're doing certain things and why they believe in certain things but the weird part is when you, once you every religion teaches you peace and how not to hate anyone etc and then you're in, in in the Balkan region or the ex-Yugoslav region you're like hey uh, grandpa listen up uh, I'm just about to marry a Serbian woman he's like, about to what we, I'm gonna kick you out of the family. I don't. I never want to talk to you again. And then you're like, wait, what? Then did? How can you do that? They're the, we fucking hate the Serbs. They're this. They're that. Did you just teach me that religion is about peace and and forgiveness and all that kind of stuff? Oh, but it doesn't work like that. How does it work then? This is one of those things. It's really weird in a region that that that. It, 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 even if you're like me, like not giving a fuck about that and not giving a fuck about nationality, like not caring at all about all of that stuff, but just being like a normal person, to be honest, they're considered an outsider in ex Yugoslavia. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, does that do blah blah, blah but he isn't really religious and you should be marrying in a church or in, in a mosque or blah 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 blah. Just kind of weird, but um, I'm a person who doesn't give a fuck about that. But uh, I know that there are a lot of people out there and probably people watching this video who are like, yeah, exactly, that's me. I just don't want to be forced into being something I'm not and pretending something I'm not. And there's a small group like me, that people who are not pretending. I just tell them like, yeah, my family is religious, but I'm not religious. Neither am I practicing religion because it doesn't mean anything big to me. Neither do I have any interest into doing that because I just like other stuff. That's some, sometimes really hard to combine when you find someone who is actually raised more religiously and especially because like, as I said, 80% or 90% of the people in the country living are raised religiously or uh, are religious and etc. It's really hard to, um, uh, to to make them accept you as how you are because they really want someone who's on the same level. It's kind of hard, but I, I just I don't mind, you know. If it just if that's if you're not looking for someone like that, just don't get in touch with me because I just I'm just really this open, spontaneous dude who just accepts basically everything. So I hope you guys uh, learned something new about religion in the region and how ethnicity and nationality are mixed up in Bosnia and why everybody is, is religious and expected expects the next generation of kids to be religious even though they are not and they're not practicing religion and they are hating instead of doing the stuff that their parents tell them to do that has been written in a religious book or in a holy book. I don't know if that made any sense, but I hope you get the point. I hope you got the point throughout the video on what I'm trying to say. Is that people from a newer generation pretend to be something that they're not. Big portion of them, so not all of you don't be offended. And it doesn't bother me at all, but it's just weird because it gets you in situations where it does bother you. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel to see more of this kind of content. Check out the cool merch that I have in the link in the description down below. Or click on one of the t-shirts below the description box. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao! Bye.